guys, I'm Soy Canela reporting for Kids First and today I'm so excited because I am going to be reviewing the new animated film, Vivo. As its name suggests, Vivo is a vivid animated film full of life, color, emotion, and music it was directed by Kirk Demigo and Brandon Jeffords, and this is Sony's first ever musical with a Latino theme. Not only that, but the story itself is definitely aimed and significantly for the Latino community, and this uh, film, Vivo, you know, definitely showcases a lot of new songs, all written and performed by Lin Manuel Miranda himself, and all of the songs definitely contribute nicely to the storytelling. Vivo is about the way we connect with others through music. In a very old-fashioned Cuba, we meet Vivo, who is a kinkagoo, voiced by Lin Manuel Miranda. A kinkagoo is a memo who lives in the rainforest, also known as the honey bear. Vivo and his best friend Andres love making music and performing together. One day, Andres receives an invitation from a very famous singer and one of his old friends, Marta Sandoval, who is voiced by Gloria Stefan. And the invitation is basically to go to Miami to see her farewell show and perform with her. Now, this is Vivo's job to deliver a very important message and to reconnect to their friendship. Vivo connects us with our inner and pure childhood emotions with lovable and relatable characters, one of which is named Gabby, who is our protagonist and helps Vivo try to accomplish his mission of going to Miami. Gabby is just a firecracker full of emotion, and she is definitely spontaneous, ambitious, rebellious. She's an aspiring musician, and everything about this character, I just have to say, I absolutely fell in love with her. She's one of my favorites for sure, if that wasn't already obvious, and she represents a lot of different things. Also, how the effervescent tween years, you know, you might not feel like everything that you do might fit in with the mold of society. Now, aside from the characters, the animation is breath taking. I mean, everything is super colorful and vibrant and very appealing to the eye. And you know, I have never been to Cuba, but I could definitely see the attention to detail in the landscaping and architecture of the old fashioned, I guess, QS scenes. Not to mention also, the film has a lot to do with nature. And you could see uh, Vivo and Gabby traveling through the Everglades and they've definitely encountered wildlife at its fullest. Vivo demonstrates how we can continue with our old traditions of everyday life as well as experiencing life, living it to the fullest, and respecting boundaries. Another huge success that this film had was the fact that it is appealing to multi-generational um, people. Like, for example, for youngsters, it is very easy for them to connect and as well with older members of the family, making this a great watching experience for the entire family and leaves everyone very inclined and connected. Uh, Vivo also shows us with the power of music we can achieve our goals and overall, it's just a beautiful film to watch and a great experience. I would totally recommend it. All of that being said, I would give Vivo a 5 out of 5 stars and I would recommend it for all ages. I mean, what is there not to love about this spectacular film? Make sure to check out Vivo in theaters and on Netflix on August 6, 2021. I'll see you in the next review. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel. Bye now!